Hello guys, it's Wei here and welcome to a Team of the Season Sven Van Beek player review. He goes for 55 to 85k on the Xbox market and he is minimum price and on the PlayStation market he goes for 45 to 75k. I actually packed mine which is pretty cool and uh, he's a very very good defender, one of the best defenders on the game. Uh, he's a silver but he's up there with players like Boateng and Thiago Silva. Looking at his in-game stats here, very, very good for a silver, over 80 in pretty much all his main defensive stats. 83 heading, he was very good in the air. 88 long passing and 78 short passing, very, very good for a centre back because he can play the ball once he gets the ball, which he will all the time because he's very good at tackling. He'll be able to get the ball and play it up to your strikers and midfielders so you won't lose possession like some other centre backs. That's a really good uh, thing which not many people seem to notice in, in centre backs. 83 marking, really good. Uh, he always seemed to be in position, and uh, that's probably uh, also helped by his low high work rates. Uh, 80 sliding tackle, 80 standing tackle, very, very good tackling. You will see that in the clips later on. 84 jumping, really, really good. He was very good in the air, as I already said. 74 acceleration and 80 sprint speed. Felt extremely quick. He actually caught up with Walcott uh, and managed to get the ball off him quite a few times when I did play against a team that had Walcott in. 93 strength as well, very very good, he felt extremely strong uh, and also 80, inter 80 interceptions uh, is pretty good as well. So he's also 6 foot 2, low high work rates, right footed, 20 years old, 2 star skills and 2 star weak foot, no traits or specialities and uh, yeah very very good centre back. So on to the clips now, uh, you will see starting off a really good header look at the distance on that header that's pretty much up to the halfway line extremely good in the air from corners from free kicks anything like that he'll be able to clear the ball away and uh, very good tackling as well you'll see loads of tackles throughout the clips um, very good standing and sliding tackle and this is Walcott here he just manages to push him right off the ball uh, very very good strength you just run next to someone and because of his high strength and pace he'll just get the ball off them easily that's Walcott again he managed to keep up with him push him off the ball and uh, just get the ball off him very very good centre back very very good defensively really good at passing the ball forwards as well right up to your strikers with uh, lobbed through balls and stuff which is really really uh, good sort of a plus point which um, makes him even better many uh, great tackles throughout the clips uh, you'll be able to see loads of good standing tackles he does make he does have better standing tackles than sliding tackles in my opinion uh, he did miss a couple of sliding tackles but uh, pretty much every single standing tackle just press B when you know someone and they will get the ball off him but still really good sliding tackles as you can see there all you have to do is just stay off the player that you are trying to defend against and then wait for him to run towards you really. I could actually do a tutorial on that because uh, the thing I'm best at probably is defending uh, and uh, this guy really suits my playstyle and uh, if you do, if you are good at defending he will definitely be uh, the right centre back for you and will definitely cut down on the amount of goals that you do concede. Uh, I've played very very uh, well defensively using him even though his sort of centre back partners aren't really that good there aren't that many Dutch centre backs uh, that are really good. There's Van Dijk who's alright, there's uh, De Vrij. I was actually using him with Van Dijk in this team, uh, which was uh, that was quite a good centre back partnership. And uh, yeah, very very good as you can see there. I have given him a 9.5 rating out of 10 guys. One of the best centre backs in the game by far. I put him in my top 3 centre backs, probably with uh, the likes of Boateng, Koscielny, uh, maybe Thiago Silva. But very very good uh, up there with the best goal centre backs backs on the game. As you can see positive strength felt extremely strong, 93 strength, he managed to out strength and pretty much every player he got into a 1v1 with. Very good heading, really really good distance on them to, to clear them from corners, free kicks and crosses. Very quick he managed to catch up with Walcott uh, in quite a few of the clips that he did see. I'd probably say he felt more around 85 pace, it felt very quick. Really good ball control and passing. When he did get the ball, he'd generally be able to play a good pass up to your strikers or midfielders so you could build from the back and counter-attack. Really good tackling and positioning as well. As you can see, he made loads and loads of slide tackles and standing tackles in the games that I did play with him. Uh, he did manage to uh, keep me in quite a few games uh, with some last-ditch tackles. And also really good positioning, low high work rates uh, and good marking, inceptions and positioning. He's always going to be in position at the back. Uh, if you play uh, sort of maybe three at the back, he's a really good centre back with his low high work rates because he's always going to be back there 
and you're never really going to have too many issues about getting counterattacked on because he'll generally just manage to catch up with most uh, defend uh, most uh, strikers and get the ball off them. Also, guys, uh, I just want to uh, give a quick shout out to Craig Gamer, really good YouTuber and streamer who actually uh, let me use his footage because I lent him my account because uh, he wanted to do a review uh, on uh, Van Beek as well. So he actually let me use his footage, so thank you very much to him. Go check his channel out, guys. I will leave a link in the description to that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I definitely recommend that you guys go and pick Sven Van Beek up. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.